Now in your workshop this week, the focus is going to be on comparing different pedagogical approaches. Now the first of these pedagogical approaches will be the activity-based or direct instruction. And we're going to use an online tu tutorial, um, the Hour of Code, to demonstrate um, activity-based learning, uh, direct instruction, where the computer takes on the role of the teacher in the direct instruction model, but also so that you can learn some basics of block-based coding, um, programming. So you're going to work through and complete uh, an hour of code activity. Generally, they don't take an hour. Um, that's an hour for very young children. Um, you should be able to get through them much quicker than that. And you'll provide evidence of having completed that as part of your um, log of learning activities. So that needs to be done before your workshop. Of course, your workshop is going to be based on the assumption that you've gained those skills and you've also explored um, a direct instruction activity-based pedagogical model that we're going to use to contrast with a project-based learning approach used in your tutorial. Now, in the workshop then, you're going to be learning about um, project-based learning through exploring different projects that can be conducted. Now, the project you're going to have is using what we call a Makey Makey interface kit, which allows us to connect things up to our computers and have keystrokes be sent to the computers and make things happen. So we're going to be combining the Scratch programming language, which will then make things happen on the screen. It might make a buzzer go off or a light flash or things like that. And you'll use the Makey Makey kits to interface with a um, object you're going to create, which will be replicating the operation game. So as a child, you may have played or seen the operation game. If not, there's a little video clip explaining what the game involves. But essentially, you use tweezers to try to remove um, organs from a cardboard body. And if the tweezers touch the sides of the holes where the organs are in, um, something bad happens. And that bad will be a signal going to the computer which will make a buzzer go off or something happen on the computer might reduce a score or change an image, flash, warning, warning, something like that. So that's essentially the project that you're going to try to create. So relatively extrinsic based, um, I'm framing what you have to actually um, achieve as your project, but there are certain elements that you can demonstrate some creativity particularly in the Scratch program, and also in the design of the operational body. Um, I'll give a couple of examples, one of a Pikachu animal. So instead of a human body, you can do that, or a whale, or you can come up with your own little design of what body you've got to take these things out of without hitting the edges and causing the buzzer to go off or to have whatever occurs in Scratch indicate that um, you've hit the edge of the walls. So this relates to um, a digital technologies content descriptor, learning about digital systems, where we've got a computer system interfacing with an external system. There's an input flow of information. There's an output flow of information to the screen or to the buzzer. So this forms a digital system. And in designer technology, it encompasses um, electrical engineering, looking at circuits and how when a circuit is closed, um, electricity can flow. In this case, that will then send a signal to the computer and so forth. So that is the challenge you have. In the workshop, you'll be given set materials to use to create your solution. I strongly encourage you to um, form groups and teams. So where one team in your group uh, builds the physical um, body and connects up the makey makey. Another group focuses on the programming in Scratch and then working together to make those two um, combine. Of course, you'll have limited time and you'll need to be efficient and effective in making use of that in order to achieve your outcome in the time available. And of course, ideally, you will have a chance to get something working and then iterate and solve problems and go back through and improve upon your solution 
if the first iteration is not effective. And once that is done, you'll be able to discuss in your workshop group the differences between the project-based style of pedagogy and the activity-based direct instruction style that you saw evidenced in the Hour of Code tutorial.